Hey, what's going on guys? Seth here with Michael's Entertainment at the Rust Belt Market in Ferndale about to DJ the wedding of Sam and Greg. And it's gonna be a good time. Let's get this started. Hey, how you doing? I'm Seth. Seth? Yeah, Julie. nice to meet nice you, Julie. To see you. And are you uh, the Rust Belt the manager? Rust Belt. Awesome. Yes. Well, yeah. But a linen might be nice too. Okay, cool. okay. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. You don't need a sub at a, a venue this small, but it does help. <laughs> We know where we need to be. It's just time to get it all set up, you know. And this this time of the day when I'm a few hours before the wedding starts, you know, feeling the the, the good kind of anxiety, the, the mixed with a little bit of excitement, you know. A room like this, you don't really want two subs because if you had two subs, they'd phase each other out. If you Google, you know how those low wavelengths interact. So if you're gonna use two subs, you gotta make sure you you're able to position them far enough away that they don't cause phase outs. We can't really do that here, so it's just better just to use one. They've got, yeah, skirts help. To make it where you don't have to spend so much time making sure everything's, all the wires are perfect because they're, they're hidden by the skirt. I always like to start the speakers because that uh kind of it's like the anchors first. And what basically what we're what's happening is we're a crossover means that the low part of the frequency comes out of the sub and all of the mids and highs come out of the cabinets. So I guess now the next thing I need to do, because I got my speakers ran, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump into just getting the lights set up. So these are the moving heads. They're part of our luxury lighting uh, options. And they're actually, you know, they're, they're robotic uh, gobo lights that move around and you'll see later where they'll mirror each other. And I can do really cool custom programs depending on what part of the day we're on. I normally have a ladder for this, so hopefully I'll be able to do this. So I'm gonna show you a cool thing that this speaker stand can do it has these hydraulics in it and i can just bring it down here for myself and with the speaker on it it'll hydraulically lift in a minute they just did a little reset oh and it looks like last time they were used they were on an auto mode. We actually want them on a 13 channel mode. We don't want them on auto mode. Because we're going to be doing, that's if you're like, aren't doing uh, custom designs and stuff. They must have just been using that for dancing and. All right. So now everything's set up. And what I do when I, when I get it all set up is I do a mic check before I get everything looking clean. That way, if there's something I need to like address, I don't have to take a bunch of tape off and you know, do it a bunch of stuff twice. It's reading that NS4FX saying, hey, is that what you want to use? Yes, we're going to use, because NS4FX is a really good sound card. We got to make sure our, everything's turned on. Start with the sub. These, everything over here is already on. Then go to the speakers, because you, you don't want to do the opposite because you don't want to like send an electrical charge through a open source speaker, because that's how you make your uh, friends that you're working with not like you anymore. <laughs> Whenever I work with that DJ, my ears are bleeding at the end of the night. We don't want him to hear that. So I'm just gonna do a little sound check here. So we're gonna make sure our main master is up to Unity. Everything is on Unity. And we're doing a little mic check real quick. Testing one, two. All right, getting ready for a great event tonight. Check, check, one, two. And one more little uh, walk around the room, make sure we're good. All right, we're happy with that, like it. Getting ready for a good time. All right, cool. We know both channels are good, sounding nice. 
Everything's good as far as that goes. Now it's time to do a, make sure my lights are working right before I clean everything up. So I'm able to, you know, with my thumb in real time, you know, like if I was trying to spotlight somebody, I literally could like follow them, <laughs> you know, kind of cool. I think it's a, a fun little just interest add on during non-dancing. And then later on, you'll see during dancing, you can do a lot of cool stuff. All right, we, we got everything set up, sound checked. We're ready to rock as far as that goes. So now what we need to do is double check the plan with Lorna, the wedding planner, and, and make sure that uh, we're on the same page. And uh, if there's anything that's changed, that we both know about it. But I don't oh, think I'm no, crazy. Could I, could I? These are so You're comfortable. looking great. Are you kidding? Like, oh my gosh. I love what you got going on. <laughs> so. Sam and Greg, I guess, do, um, do you want me to run through it or do you, you want? Know, you can talk before okay. and then if it's something that I catch, it's a little different. Okay, perfect. So today we've got, um, we're here at the Rust Belt Market. Steven's gonna be our officiant. I'll be doing a mic check with him right before the prelude at seven. But aside from that, yeah, uh, we'll let everybody know to enjoy the, uh, while while they're getting their photos, to have some fun, enjoy some beverages. And, and we're and, hoping that kind of shorten that time so okay. we can push up dinner start and everything. Perfect. You know. Yeah. So I, I've got a grand welcome. And so what basically, when, when everyone, when the bride and groom are here and they're settled into their seats, they didn't want to do a big introduction. Yeah. They just wanted me to do an exciting welcome and then acknowledge some special folks on their behalf before we jump into toasts. Okay. At the end of dinner, they've got me doing an elaborate horror opening. Yeah. <laughs> and they say, I'll be like, Sam and Greg, can you, do you feel the love out here right now? Can you hear the music? And then I'm going to hit the horror. Okay. And then, oh, yeah. Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm like a fan. I'm, I'm a chef. Room, uh, mother. Oh, what can, am I? Yeah. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> well, congratulations, Linda. DJ. Yeah, you, I'm Seth Michaels. I'm your DJ. Very pleased to meet you. Oh, pleasure's mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's it. We'll end at midnight. Photo booth's ending at 11. So it's going to be fun. fun yeah. Nice to, nice to meet, meet you guys in person. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you did AJ and Molly. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. They'll be here tonight. Oh, awesome. <laughs> oh, excited to see them. Yeah. Got parents standing on both sides. Do you want me to give you a hand moving that? Yeah. <laughs> Is this table? Oh, the whole thing's moving? That's easy. Cool. Okay. All right. That's why you're the pro. Okay, right here. Yes, sir. And I can raise this up for you. So I've, I've got. Parents, parents. Now, and, and I'll show you how I flip it on, so you can do it if you want when you get up here. Just flip that switch. Okay. I don't have my glasses. Yep. And if you just, oh, if, oh, I can turn. If you want me to turn it on yeah, for you, I will. Turn it on, please. So, uh, yeah, feel free to talk real quick, just so I can hear. Yep. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. I'm gonna give you a little more juice. Uh, one more. Testing, testing one, two, three. I like it. Oh, that makes me nervous. Man, I love that tie. Oh, I gotta find out where you got that later on. Yeah. Freeze and winter. Okay, yeah. I'll look it up. <laughs> Evan Freed, they the son of the owner, is uh, a family friend. Okay. So, oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you just have Freed, they'll sit right here. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'll see if I can rub elbows with him and get a deal on some ties or something. <laughs> May these rings glow in the reflection of the warmth of your life together and be a sign of the promise you have made this day. Well, Samantha, please continue to face Greg and hold his hands palms up so that you may see the gifts that they are to you. There you go. Well, it's a beautiful day for a wonderful wedding. I'm DJ Seth Michaels. Thank you for being here tonight, everybody. And welcome to the marriage celebration of Mr. and Mrs. Greg 
and Samantha Finn. Hey, congratulations, you guys. We're so happy for you, too. And our newlyweds want to show some special recognition to some folks in the room. So when I say your names, maybe you could give us a wave, and we'll all give you a big round of applause. Sound good? Starting with the parents of the bride, Todd and Julie Schaefer. The maid of honor and bride's sister, Natalie Schaefer. The bride's brother, Scott Schaefer. The parents of the groom, Brian and Linda Finn. The best man and brother of the groom, Brad Finn. They wanted to make a special acknowledgement of all of their out-of-town guests and everyone else for celebrating with them tonight and also wanted to thank their vendors, which is very kind. And also a special thanks, they said, to Aya Urzuki for introducing Sam and Greg in the first place. So, yeah, that's a huge, huge special thanks to Aya for that one, for sure. And obviously looking around the room, there's a, obviously a whole lot of love in here for our bride and groom tonight. You can hear it. It's beautiful. Wow, you can really hear it. That's what I'm talking about. And to express that love in the form of a toast, we've got a number of folks we're going to welcome up, starting with the maid of honor, Natalie Schaefer. There you go. These last five years have been a doozy. From illnesses and pandemics and deaths to vacations and home renovations and everything in between, Sam and Greg have certainly had a taste of what life together will bring. I just know that their humor and interest and care for one another will take them through the next five years and the five after that and the 50 after that. Greg, I'm so happy that my sister has you in her life and that I have you in mine. Welcome to the family. Cheers. Yeah, you should take that. <laughs> well, what a beautiful speech from our maid of honor. How about one more big round of applause for Natalie, everybody. Nice job. And now we're going to welcome up the best man, Brad Finn. From thy gracious bounty, through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. God bless you, boy. God bless you. All. Thank you so much, Linda, for those beautiful words and for giving that lovely grace on our behalf. And now, before we enjoy a great meal together, to, we're going to welcome up Carl Schaefer to give a, a blessing of the hollow. Baruch atoy Adonai, Eloheinu melech alon, alamocha lecha mina Amen. Well, thank you so much, Carl, for doing the blessing of the hollow with us. And now, before we enjoy a great meal together, we just want to invite you guys to um, make your way to either of the three stations. There's a sushi, a Mediterranean, and an Italian food station. So lots of options here. And yeah, remember, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Let's have some fun. I'm sure I speak for us all when I say how terrific the meal's been tonight. Huge compliments to the chefs, no doubt. Absolutely. And now we're going to do something special. that If we can invite everybody up out of their seats and make their way towards the dance floor, we're going to ask Sam and Greg to make their way to the center of the dance floor. And then we're going to make some circles around our newlyweds. The first circle is the circle of life. If you met Sam and Greg the day they were born, or your immediate family, then we'd like to invite you up to the circle around them at this time. We're gonna ask for the second circle, we're gonna make around that first circle. This is the, the circle of friendship. And this is anybody who met the couple at some point when they were going to school, when they were kids, this is the, the circle of friendship is for that second circle around the couple. So come on up. And on your way, why don't you take somebody with you, give them a little encouragement.
because we need you guys all out here. And the third circle, this one's important, this is the circle of everyone else. So I'm talking folks that met the bride and groom yesterday, maybe you're crashing the wedding, or maybe you just didn't make it to one of the first two circles for whatever reason. Come on up and join us in one of these three circles here. Now Greg and Sam, do you feel the love out here? Can you hear the music? And let's get those circles spinning around. So thanks for checking our vlog out here. Sam and Greg are out there having a great time. Man, what a great group of family and friends. Just a, a perfect night. And uh, yeah, we're, gonna, we're not done yet. We're gonna be dancing for a lot longer. So I'll see you guys.